Welcome back, listeners, to our motivational podcast. I'm Susan, and with me is Larry. Today, we're diving into a uniquely inspiring book, Make Your Bed, Little Things That Can Change Your Life, and Maybe Even the World, by Admiral William H. McRaven. Larry, this book is a bit of a departure from our usual discussions, isn't it? It certainly is, Susan. Admiral McRaven's book is based on a commencement speech he delivered at the University of Texas, which went viral for a good reason. The book expands on the core principles he discussed, focusing on how small daily habits and attitudes can have a profound impact on your life. Absolutely, Larry. The title itself, Make Your Bed, is drawn from one of McRaven's key life lessons, starting your day with a completed task. It might seem simple, but McRaven emphasizes how this small achievement sets the tone for the rest of the day, giving you a sense of pride and encouraging you to complete another task, and then another task, and then another. That's right, Susan. It's about building momentum from the moment you wake up. But the book goes beyond just making your bed. Each chapter covers different life lessons McRaven learned during his Navy SEAL training, which are applicable to all of us, regardless of our walks of life. One of the chapters I found particularly moving discusses the power of hope. McRaven shares stories from his SEAL training and later career to illustrate how maintaining hope can be a powerful tool in the most challenging circumstances. Indeed, Susan. Another profound lesson is about the importance of teamwork and relying on others. McRaven's experiences as a SEAL underscore that no one goes through life alone. Whether it's about facing physical challenges or enduring difficult times, the support and collaboration of others are crucial. And what's compelling about McRaven's approach is how he turns these military lessons into practical, everyday advice. He doesn't just talk about physical strength or endurance. He talks about courage, perseverance, and resilience in the face of life's many trials. Absolutely. As we continue our conversation, we'll delve deeper into McRaven's lessons and how they can be applied not just to personal development, but also to broader life challenges. Stay with us as we explore. Moving forward, another lesson from Admiral McRaven that resonates deeply is the importance of facing failures. In Make Your Bed, he discusses how sometimes in life, no matter how well you prepare or how well you perform, you still end up as a sugar cookie. S Larry, how significant do you find this lesson? It's incredibly significant, Susan. The sugar cookie lesson McRaven describes is about dealing with situations that seem unfair. In SEAL training, even when recruits did everything right, they sometimes still found themselves being punished and ending up as a sugar cookie, covered in sand and wet from head to toe. McRaven uses this to illustrate how life isn't always fair. Sometimes, even when you do everything right, you can still come up short. Indeed. And in talking about fears, McRaven also addresses the need to stand up to the bullies of life. He recounts experiences of how standing up to oppressors during his training and career was pivotal. It's a lesson about not backing down in the face of injustice or adversity. That chapter speaks volumes about personal integrity and courage. But it's not all about facing external challenges. McRaven also talks about the inner battles we face. He stresses the importance of maintaining a sense of humor, staying humble, and never giving up on what's important to you. As we delve further into Make Your Bed, we find that its lessons are about the small, everyday decisions and attitudes that shape our lives. It's about finding the strength and conviction to keep going, to keep striving for better, even in small ways. Absolutely, Susan. It's about how the little things in life can make a big difference. McRaven's lessons, drawn from the rigorous trials of Navy SEAL training, offer profound insights into building a life of discipline, resilience, and honor. As we wrap up our discussion on Make Your Bed, Little Things That Can Change Your Life, and Maybe Even the World, by Admiral William H. McRaven, it's clear this book offers more than just practical advice. It provides a philosophy for life. Each chapter, each lesson, transcends the context of military training and becomes applicable to all areas of our lives. You're absolutely right, Susan. What makes this book so impactful is its simplicity and universality. The lessons McRaven shares are about perseverance, courage, and the importance of doing the small things right. While these lessons are born out of his military experience, they speak to challenges we all face in life. Exactly, Larry. 
The book encourages us not just to aim for grand victories, but to find value and purpose in the small everyday actions. Making your bed every morning, as McRaven suggests, is a metaphor for taking charge of your life. It's about starting each day with a task completed and building momentum from there. And beyond that, it's about facing the inevitable struggles and adversities with determination and a positive attitude. McRaven's stories and insights remind us that life is not always fair, that we will face failure, and that sometimes being a sugar cookie is an opportunity to build resilience and character. His emphasis on the power of hope, the necessity of teamwork, and standing up to bullies, both external and internal, resonates deeply, especially in today's world. It's a reminder that our actions, no matter how small, can have a significant impact on our lives and the lives of those around us. Make Your Bed is a testament to the power of discipline, honor, and hard work. It's a book I'd recommend to anyone looking for inspiration to overcome personal challenges or simply to find more meaning in their daily routines. Thank you, Larry, for this insightful conversation, and thanks to our listeners for joining us. We hope you find the lessons in Make Your Bed as motivating and life-changing as we have. Until next time, keep doing the little things that can change your life and maybe even the world.